Have you ever wondered who sets the rules for the safe operation of aircraft? It's the International Civil Aviation Organization, known as ICAO. This United Nations specialized agency works with countries worldwide to ensure that aviation is safe, efficient, secure, economically sustainable, and environmentally responsible. One of the key ways ICAO accomplishes this is through Annex 6. This important document is a part of the Convention on International Civil Aviation. It lays out the international standards and recommended practices for the operation of aircraft. Annex 6 covers a wide range of topics, from flight safety to crew requirements, aircraft maintenance to emergency procedures and more. But why is Annex 6 so important? Well, it's because these standards and practices act as a guide for countries to develop their own national civil aviation regulations. That's the role of ICO Annex 6, ensuring the safe and efficient operation of aircraft globally. So, why is safety so paramount in aviation, you might ask? Well, consider this. Aviation is a complex system of technologies, human factors, and environmental elements. One minor malfunction or human error can have catastrophic consequences. That's where the International Civil Aviation Organization's Annex 6 comes into play. It sets the standard for safety in aviation, establishing crucial protocols and procedures to minimize risks and protect lives. From flight operations to maintenance requirements, Annex 6 outlines a comprehensive framework that ensures safety, efficiency, and reliability in the aviation industry. It's not just about avoiding accidents, but about creating an environment of continuous improvement and safety culture. These standards are constantly reviewed and updated, reflecting the dynamic nature of aviation and its inherent challenges. Therefore, the safety standards set by Annex 6 contribute significantly to the overall safety in aviation, what exactly does Annex 6 cover, you might ask? Well, it's a broad document, but let's narrow it down to some key components. Firstly, we have flight operations. This includes everything from flight preparation, takeoff, in-flight procedures, to landing. It's about ensuring that every phase of a flight is conducted with safety and efficiency. Next, we have performance operating limitations. These are the checks and balances in place to ensure that aircraft are only operated within their capabilities. It's about knowing the limits of your aircraft and not pushing beyond them. Lastly, we have maintenance requirements. This is the ongoing care and upkeep of aircraft to ensure they remain safe for operation. It's about regular checks, repairs and replacements so that every component of an aircraft is in top-notch condition. These components are the backbone of Annex 6, ensuring aircraft operations meet the highest safety standards. Did you know that fatigue management is a crucial part of aviation safety? Yes, it's true. The International Civil Aviation Organization, or ICAO, underlines the importance of fatigue risk management systems, commonly known as FARMs. But what exactly is FRMs? It's a data-driven and scientifically based process used to continuously monitor and manage safety risks associated with fatigue. It allows for flexibility in crew scheduling, while ensuring that alertness and operational performance are maintained. It's not just about getting enough sleep. FRAMS takes into account factors such as workload, work timing, and individual differences when managing fatigue. It's a proactive approach, designed to ensure that both flight and cabin crew are sufficiently alert to perform their duties safely. In essence, effective fatigue management is key to maintaining high safety levels in aviation. What about medical emergencies during a flight? That's a question that Annex 6 of the International Civil Aviation Organization has thoroughly addressed. This comprehensive document stipulates that all aircraft must be equipped with specific medical supplies and emergency equipment. The list of required items is exhaustive covering everything from simple first aid kits to sophisticated automated external defibrillators, oxygen supplies, and even certain medications. The goal is to ensure that flight crew members can respond effectively to a wide range of medical emergencies that might occur mid-flight, from minor injuries to serious medical conditions. The provisions also cover emergency equipment such as life vests, life rafts, and survival kits, 
designed to assist passengers and crew in case of an emergency landing on water or in a remote area. These regulations are not just about having the right equipment on board, but also about maintaining, inspecting, and replacing these items as needed to ensure they are always in working order. These provisions ensure that in case of an emergency, immediate medical assistance is available. So, what's new in Annex 6, you might ask? Well, the International Civil Aviation Organization is always on its toes, making updates to ensure the highest level of safety in air travel. One of the recent changes includes the replacement of Halon agents in fire extinguishers. Halon, while highly effective at extinguishing fires, is an ozone-depleting substance. By phasing it out, ICAO takes a step towards environmentally friendly solutions without compromising safety. In another significant update, the regulations now include unmanned aerial systems. As the use of drones and other unmanned aircraft becomes more prevalent, their inclusion in Annex 6 is a testament to ICAO's commitment to regulate all aspects of air travel, no matter how technologically advanced they might be. These updates reflect ICAO's commitment to evolving with technology and maintaining safety. Now, let's address some common queries about Annex 6. A frequently asked question is about the medical requirements for pilots. Annex 6 mandates that pilots must undergo regular medical examinations to ensure they are fit to fly. This includes checks for cardiovascular health, mental well-being, and overall physical fitness. Another question often asked is about visual requirements. Pilots need to have good visual acuity to safely operate an aircraft. According to Annex 6, pilots must have a visual acuity of 6-9 or better in each eye separately, with or without correction. Lastly, many wonder about the impact these standards have on licensing. The standards set out in Annex 6 are implemented and enforced by national aviation authorities, who issue licenses to pilots. Non-compliance with these standards can impact a pilot's license, and in some cases, may lead to its suspension or revocation. These are just a few of the many questions that arise when discussing Annex 6. How is Annex 6 implemented globally? Well, it's a fascinating process. Annex 6 is not just a piece of paper. It's a living, breathing document that's interpreted and implemented by aviation authorities all around the world. From the bustling airports of New York and London, to the remote airstrips of Mongolia and Fiji, the principles of Annex 6 echo in the hum of aircraft engines and the chatter of air traffic control. But the story doesn't end with implementation. The International Civil Aviation Organization, or ICAO, plays a critical role in ensuring that these standards are not only adopted, but also adhered to. It's like a global watchdog, keeping a keen eye on aviation safety and efficiency. ICAO conducts regular audits, provides technical assistance, and even offers training to help countries comply with Annex 6. And it's not a one-size-fits-all approach. ICAO recognizes that different countries have different needs and capacities, so it works closely with national aviation authorities to tailor the implementation process, making international aviation safer and more efficient. Ensuring global compliance with Annex 6 standards is a key role of ICAO. What does the future hold for aviation safety? As we sail through the skies, the future of aviation safety is becoming clearer, and it's more exciting than ever. Advancements in technology, coupled with the lessons learned from past experiences, are paving the way for a safer and more efficient aviation industry. The International Civil Aviation Organization, or ICEO, is at the forefront of this evolution, constantly updating its Annex 6 to address new challenges and emerging technologies. We can expect to see more regulations around unmanned aerial systems as they become an integral part of our airspace. Furthermore, as the world becomes more connected, the need for global cooperation and shared safety standards becomes even more critical. It's likely that the ICAO will continue to play a central role in facilitating this global collaboration. Also, with the growing recognition of the importance of mental health, we could see more emphasis on fatigue management and the overall well-being of flight crews. Only time will tell how Annex 6 will adapt to meet the future challenges of aviation safety. So, 
Why is Annex 6 so important? Well, it's the cornerstone of ensuring safety in the skies. It provides the framework for flight operations, maintenance requirements, and performance operating limitations. It establishes crucial standards for fatigue management and medical provisions. It evolves with the times, incorporating recent advancements like the inclusion of unmanned aerial systems. But it's not a static document. It's a living, breathing entity that changes to meet the challenges faced by the aviation industry. It's a reflection of the constant strive to improve, to reach new heights of safety, and to ensure that every flight is a safe one. And what's your role in all this? It's to stay informed, to be aware of the regulations that govern the skies, and to understand why they are so vital. You can dig deeper into Annex 6 and other ICAO resources to broaden your understanding. Remember, aviation safety doesn't just lie in the hands of pilots, air traffic controllers, or aircraft engineers. It's a shared responsibility. By fostering an understanding and appreciation for these regulations, you contribute to a safer sky. Stay informed, stay safe, and remember, aviation safety is everyone's responsibility.